Ladies and gentlemen of the internet, welcome. So we're here today with Season 2, Episode 2 of uh, The Expanse. Ah. ah, reaction. I hope you all having a good day, by the way. So, um, last episode was the first episode of the season. First episode of Season 2. And uh, we started off, we started off, we started off, we started off um, this season with basically finding out a, or, or following a new group of people, in this case, the Martians, um, that basically destroyed Phoebe Station. The origin of everything. The origin of all the trouble. The origin of all the mischief that's happening and that's going around in this world right now. But, um, yeah, obviously, Avasarala and Earth in of, in of itself, they're doing their own plot right now, trying to uncover all the secrets, all the dirty little secrets that are going around in the world, and quite frankly, you're never going to uncover all the dirty little secrets, because there are just way too many in the grand scheme of things. Um, but, you know, I, I like following Avasarala, because always, you know, she, she, she puts on a good face. She puts on a br good face, like a good acting face, like, oh, yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm a hundred percent on your side. You spy on him. Yeah, okay. Okay. I want you to spy on him. But I'm on your side, a hundred percent. Yeah. Okay. I, I I like that. 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 I always like seeing like good actresses and good actors just doing what they're good at, lying to people. <laughs> oh, yeah. It sounds like almost like an actor almost hurt me. An actress almost hurt me personally. Well. Not the case, but uh, yeah, and they are paid to pretend to be someone else, and so it's always good to see them pretend to be someone else uh, while pretending to be someone else. Like it's like a double, it's like, it's like a double, double life. Would that be a triple life, or would that be a quadruple life? A double, double life. I think that might be a quadruple life, or a triple life. Anyway, um, we didn't actually go back to the belters at all. I don't, I don't like, we didn't go back to, no, we didn't actually go, we didn't go back to Eros at all, um, but because of, like, how big the, o we didn't actually go back to Fred Johnson either, but because of how big the OPA is, I'm fully expecting us to go back uh, to those situations, I'm fully expecting that to be the case, so we'll see what happens, but it seemed like the squad is all squatted up right now, uh, Amos and Miller, they seem to have buddy buddy friends for life I mean it doesn't have to be that far but like that's what it seemed like right now you know you need, you need that good old-fashioned eh, 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 you need that you need that good old-fashioned little scrap and then, like you can move on from there so that's basically what you had with aim was just basically like aim was just being like Just choke, choking the life out of him, which, you know, dangerous, <laughs> dangerous, that's, that's the way you should describe Amos, just dangerous, but I like Amos, I like Amos, and then obviously Naomi and I hold him, they finally let loose, uh, they had this kind of relationship at the beginning where, like, I wouldn't say they hated each other, but it was certainly conflict at the beginning and now it just seemed like yeah you know what we're all in this together that's basically what it seemed like right now so season two episode two i think that's all i have to say about it. episode one let us get started with episode two ladies and gentlemen so let's go what do you want i need a spy dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> oh No, that's Mission Impossible, right? I don't. I, you, can, you can probably tell. I don't watch many spy movies. I've seen one Bond movie, which was uh, Let This Sky Skyfall. That uh, that's the only one I've seen. Uh, Mission Impossible. I've watched one. We're at the beginning. He's like climbing a, a, a rock, a, a hill, a mountain. Oh, we actually see Mars. I didn't notice that in the opening. In episode one, we actually see Mars. Maybe that's been a thing the whole time. I don't know. No, I think I would have. Think Command will not. I will not support this escalation. You dismissed. No need to pretend this is a request, sir. 
I stepped down as fleet commander. Is she trying to get him out of the harm's way? Could that be a thing? She's trying to get him out of harm's way. Because right now this feels an awful lot like the Frank de Graaf situation. Where like people... Taiko! I was just talking about Taiko! Uh, or like people just... Coming to her crosshair. Alright, let, let her have some seconds to breathe! <laughs> just tell you all this! We have to get past. Ones they used to kill the Donnage. We have a gunship of our own. That's not it out with a stealth that's not gonna get it done. Going with or without. You know what I would do honestly? I broadcast it all to the world right now. Being protected by it all being public knowledge is what I would honestly do. It doesn't. Get, it it removes bargaining power later on, but still, I think that's what I would do. Should have saved more. We saved us. Crew comes first. If we would have back for strays, we'd end up dead like them. We should have at least tried. We could have filled the Rossi with people, but we didn't. What the hell's that say about us? Huh? You're too, way too nice. I'd be. F about Minding your own business, just trying to survive. But it all boils down to an excuse, and that excuse ain't worth a good goddamn when the world is burning down around you. To form a military, you can you tell right there. It's just as bad as doing the wrong thing. Being a bystander. I mean, what kind of people are we that we only help? He's gone, but we gone. Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> I knew it! But you know what? I like that. It's just an insight into his character. Brother, look out for each other. You sure he's clear on that? Sure? Absolutely. Crystal. Then Earth are playing, Belter. We don't need you giving us orders. Of course. We don't need you picking our target. Of course. Me and mine? We just had a UN drone on her. Came this close to wasting that whoop of us. Okay, so it was him. Um, I, I didn't know for sure. Maybe it's time. Real Belter took what should be ours. Maybe He's no. got the gun, hasn't he? Our time. Oh, no, 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 Bro, bro, bro. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> like, really goodbye. Don't mess with the butcher. So, who wants to drop? Tell that to your factions. I need 50 good fighters. All right, sir. Send your best. Yes, sir. <laughs> like, don't don't mess with somebody who's called the butcher. Right? He looked right away. He's like, okay, gun, you're a threat. <laughs> Send him out. Like, has he aged? Because, like, I feel like since season one, I don't I don't know how much time it's actually been. Simulation. But like it's got grey hair now and I don't know how long it's actually been timeline wise. As soon as that stealth points its nose at us, we're done like dinner. Well when your war breaks out, I'll be out there minimizing the body count. Enjoy your drink. Sit. Is that an order? Yes. Did he make you sit your ass down? Yes. Like you ain't getting away from this, I'm telling you everything. Lug of a lean. I'm assuming you can trust him, because just by, by the way he behaves. and tell me what you really think here. I'll get the ball rolling. I'm a smug old bitch who enjoys playing with life and death. Mm -hmm. And I have big to his Yeah, yeah. A snake in it. Eyes and a poison tongue. And the solar system is in tatters because of people like you and Aaron Wright. Despite your delusions to the contrary, you, Madame Undersecretary, may be the worst person I have ever met. I agree. But she's also got morals. He hasn't even started drinking yet. <laughs> he hasn't even started drinking it, and he's speaking like that. Oh boy, that's just gonna get ugly. This is gonna get ugly once he actually starts drinking. <laughs> you don't understand shit about Fred Johnson. Oh, then you want the real story? Yes. 
Same. UNN command was jamming their comms. But when the Belters finally gave up, Colonel yeah. Johnson wasn't told that they were I, uh, I had a feeling. If he knew, he would have never called that strike in. Advised everywhere else, all based on a lie. But you know what? He never said a word. Didn't even try to clear his name. Just walked away. So does that make him a hero? Now that's a good question. Complicated person. But I know that he's an honorable man who held on to his soul, and that is a tough thing to do in this line of work. Hey, fair enough. But he just threw someone out. Fair enough. <laughs> I prefer beer. He's buying. At least finish your drink. All right. It's not gonna be in time, is it? It's not gonna be in time, is it? Uh, like the second she's able to speak with Fred Johnson, Miller, Holden, the rest, they'll be gone. If they're not already gone. Good hunting. Ten day my chest gone! Ooh, I don't know. Stay away from the aqua. The aqua. Stay away from the aqua. Star Helix. What you doing here? Yeah, why are you here? It's a bet. You're not battle hunt, are you? <laughs> it might mean this way. Stay away from the Oh boy, that's a callback. <laughs> That's brilliant. No, really. What you doing here? He's on arrows. No shit. You see what they did there? These were pretty. We gotta burn them all down, Oala. Make them pay. Okay, yeah, out for our end. Is that the signal? That's the signal. We with our own now is all. You look like you see your own ghost. I just hate space. <laughs> I wouldn't be laughing if I was in there. I wouldn't be laughing if I was in there. I grew up on sheep like this. My uncle Mateo had this rock hopper. He take me along sometime. I don't care. My uncle was a hero. He died fighting the us. He put me out the airlock first because he had love for me. Wait, 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 wait. That is Really? How did I? Did I? Call me bamboozled. I did not realize that. Call me bamboozled. He's the same kid that stole the water. I'm really bad with faces, alright? I'm really bad with faces, alright? I said this in episode one, so you can't judge me, alright? <laughs> You are the hero, and I don't think you're gonna die. If anything, I think Fred is gonna die just because of Avasarella. Ah, oh, shit. Ah. Oh. No, not you! No. All the simulations couldn't have pr pr protected you. For this. We do that and they must escape. Holden will say, let's go. Ah, oh, it's giving away. I, I, I'm sure Holden will say, let's go. Or some yeah. Amos, how are you doing? You alright, brother? Aye. Who? I can't even see anything. You're just shooting. These guys are definitely not trained. Trained. See, I mean, he's not trained, but like he knows how to lead. Is that ketchup? Is that ketchup? They've just wa they've just wasted a ton of ammo. And kill a ton of people just because of. They're all using gel guns. All right, everybody on the floor. Show me some hands. I don't think they're. I don't think they're voluntarily there. Are they like a three D simulator VR? I, I think. Yeah, they're in like a VR. 
that's hard way to their brain, but don't tell me that's it wouldn't be, would it? Don't ah! Oh. Why are you shooting them? You got it. Nothing happens to this guy. Get him out of here. Interrogate him. I interrogate them. I want to know more. Like, what were they doing? Why were they there? Info is more important. Why did they freak out? It seemed like VR. Hardwire to them. Are they creating a human? Because he's not. That's not hardwired to him. To That's what we're trying to find out. In a controlled, isolated environment. Controlled. If it gets out of hand. Controlled. Bacteria. Exactly. Uh, I'm not interested in the cosmic fate of bacteria. Two. That's not what you should be thinking about. Nah, you fool. Human beings able to live That's gonna get out of control, and you won't be able to control it. Crushing atmosphere of a gas giant, or able to hibernate long enough to travel to the stars. Of course it does. The proto molecule wasn't He's gonna die. accident. Earth was its target. Waste the data and ensure that every man, woman, and child on that rock died. Back it off, back it off, back it off. Erase itself if anyone other than me tries to decrypt it. Without this work, humanity will be left unarmed. You're a fool. Ignorant, vulnerable to an enemy who has already fired the first shot. They're gonna shoot him, aren't they? So we have. No, definitely not. I think Miller is gonna do it. We're gonna need complete access to the data, as well as the names of everyone responsible for setting this in motion. Oh, please do. Done. Miller. Why? I get it, Mao, but why? Ah! You can't <laughs> Miller! Of all the f I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, but why? This guy was about to give everyone up to Fred Johnson of all people and then he is about to speak with Allah said Allah so she would have known all the people <sighs> this is gonna be a multiple season long plot which could have been resolved after this episode <laughs> They did capture one of the one of the, the people alive, so I guess that's something. <sighs> Obviously, this makes Miller look suspicious. Of course, I get that, but he's obviously not suspicious. We've been following him for way too long, but it will make him suspicious to the other characters. That's the point. I don't know how Fred Johnson will see this in a few in the next episode in the future. It's like you were that far away, that far away. I mean, I just said, Pow. just, Pow. just. Now here is the thing, here is the thing, first of all the Jehovah's Witnesses right, they are heading out further than anyone has ever done before. They are gonna 
they are going to be the people that find the aliens, right? That's, that's how they're, that's they're going to come into contact with humans, I feel like, right? Am I wrong in assuming that? Am I wrong in assuming that, that that's how they're going to come into contact with humans? I also don't think the extraterrestrial life is going to be like... I don't think it's going to be the, the, the threat. I think they, they got it wrong. I think they got, I think I don't think this is the first shot. I don't think the the uh, protoplasm, the proto molecule, is the first shot. I think that might be their life form. That is how they look like. And they de basically what I said last time. They they develop. Um, they like put themselves into like a lava lava state, lava larvae state. And they need the energy right now to get back to their actual state. Because that's what season one finale seemed like to me. You know, I get the curiosity. I truly, truly do. I get the curiosity from the dude that just got killed. I get the curiosity. If, so if, you, if you find out, if you find something like that, with such infinite possibilities, as a scientist, you, you gotta be. You, you, I just as a human in general, you gotta be curious. You gotta be curious. But you do it in a lab. You don't do it on error station. You might you, you you find one or two volunteers that have nothing to live for. That are like yeah, you know what? Use it on me, and let's see how it develops. Don't do it on a whole station. Here is what Fred Johnson, Miller, and Holdem and Rosinante squad have to do, and the OPA have to do. I can't believe the OPA are basically on our side now. But here's what they have to do. They have to announce and make it public. That right now would be the best form of protection. I know not everyone would believe them, but just that being public knowledge. And isn't there not really any proof? Except Aero Station, really. And the video feed that they've got. So actually there is proof. I would make that public to the whole universe. I would, I would make a transmission to the whole universe so everyone would know. And not so even if not everyone believes them, it it, it will still it will still you know plant a seed. It will still manifest into people's minds that hey, you know what, this might be something that's happening. Even if they don't fully believe it, just being aware of it is enough. Who would have thought that? I'm assuming we're gonna see Andrew does uh, sooner or later too, like OPA full on. Also, that kid, that kid. I okay, I, I did not expect that. I did not expect that in the slightest. I, 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 as I said in episode season one, episode one, all right, at the end of season one, episode one, I said, right, I'm not good with names. And I'm not good with faces. I remember people by what they do, not who they are. I didn't remember them. I, I, I didn't. I didn't realize that the the water kid, the water thieving kid, uh, let uh, let go of the aqua. I, I I did not realize that he was also the uh, the the uncle, the the nephew. Of the uncle that just said "see you later," <laughs> I did not realize that at all, and that's that's my fault, all right? That's my fault. But I like it. He's been basically in the background the whole time so far. And now he's coming into the story, and I'm assuming as a mo much more of a pro uh, of a uh, pro in a mo in a much more prominent part, you know, uh, in a much more in a much more permanent role as well. Because now that he's in the story, now that you know they've met again, I. I you know, I don't see him like going anywhere else. I think he's gonna be there permanently. That's my thoughts. 
But there is actually that much for me to talk about with this episode. For the simple fact that like a lot of the episode was actually focused on um, on like the combat. On Earth, obviously, we had our Sarala talk with uh, the, I guess at this point I could say the former, former military leader of the UN, uh, the UN Navy, um, who is now no more. I think uh, Nguyen, I think he, they said that he took over the position. Fair enough. And obviously, we got a bit more about Fred Johnson. I feel like we got a little bit more about Fred Johnson as well as Alex in this episode. Fred Johnson, obviously, he just... I guess we were wrong. Ah, <laughs> the butcher, eh? I mean, he still went through that one guy out. Like, come on, bro. But, yeah, so, it is what it is. But, we found out that he never got the message that they surrendered. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. I can kind of root for him now. Um... Second of all, obviously Alex being like, we should have saved more people. We should have saved more people! We didn't! And all us doing nothing! That's the same as being evil! Alright. <laughs> Personally, I would have been like, I'm safe. I'm safe, my crew is safe. Hey, okay. We saved like one or two people. I think it was like four in total of three. Four people. We're like, ah! We've done it. I've done enough. That, that's how it would have been me. I, I've done enough. I, I've, done, I've, done, I've saved three people. If those three people could have died, I've saved three lives. Hey, that's enough good. That's enough good deeds for me for the rest of my life. That would have been me, ladies and gentlemen. Regardless, folks. Regardless, folks. Regardless, folks. Regardless, folks. I will see you all, ladies and gentlemen, in the next one, everyone. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, have a nice day, ladies and gentlemen. See you later, ladies and gentlemen. I'll peace out, oh, ladies and gentlemen. Bye, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh man, man, this feels like the ending to the first episode. But hey, it is what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, peace out. Hey everybody, if you like this video, please be sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And if you want to see more of these kind of videos, be sure to check out Patreon to get one week early access as well as full length. But until next time everybody, peace out and have a nice day.